Hello, my name is Mrs Tibbetts and I am the head teacher at St Vincent's. I'm sending you this video to tell you all about your new reception class. I'm really looking forward to meeting you when you come to school after the holidays. Your teachers, Mrs Miller and Mrs O'Neill, they can't wait to see you. But first, shall we have a look around? Here we are at the gate. This is where you will come in every morning. You'll come with your mum or your dad or your childminder following the white arrows on the floor. Can you see them? You'll go around the corner, down the playground, through the white doors and out into the big children's playground. Keep walking. Now this is the place where your mummy or daddy or childminder will collect you at the end of the day. This is the gate on the way to your classroom. That's where you'll usually say bye bye to mummy or daddy. There's your classroom door. Let's have a look inside. Lots of toys tables to sit at. There's your teacher, Mrs Miller. There's the computer. There's Mrs Miller's writing board. That's where you'll hang your coat. Here's the door out to your playground, the reception class playground. We've got a place for growing things like tomatoes. Here's a scooter. In the green shed, there are lots of toys and bikes. There's the sand pit. We have a lot of trees and plants that you will need to look after and give them water. That's a special set of grass steps where you can play. We've got a tree house for climbing and a special hidden house for telling stories. Let's go back inside. We have a wet area for painting and playing in the water and the sand. These are the toilets and you can wash your hands in the sinks. I wonder if you can manage your buttons and zips by yourselves. See if you can practice before you come. But don't worry if you get stuck because your teachers will help you. This is a special sink just by your classroom door. This is for washing your hands as soon as you get to school. We have to wash our hands a lot to make sure that we stay healthy. Your teachers will remind you to wash your hands, especially when it's time to eat and whenever you've been outside. This is the dining hall where you'll have your lunch. Parents, in reception class, every child will have a free school meal. When it's time to go home, your mummy or daddy or childminder will wait in the playground and we will send you out to meet them. Then you'll go home through the gate by the car park. Now I'm going to introduce you to your teachers. Hello reception, my name's Mrs Miller. Some of you know me already and some of you are going to meet me for the first time. I'm looking forward to September to meeting all of you. I'm going to have some really exciting activities planned for you. We're going to have a wonderful year and it's going to be all fun and lots of learning. Bye for now. Hello, my name's Mrs O'Neill and some of you already know me, but some of you will need to know me next. See you in September. Bye. Now, a few things for the grown-ups. Parents, especially those who are new to St Vincent's, I really look forward to welcoming you in September and getting to know you over the coming years. It is going to be tricky for a while because we can't invite you into school as we would like to. But we will try to do more of these videos to share with you some ideas for helping your children at home especially with early reading and number work. 
Normally we do encourage parents to come into the classroom and stay with the children for a little while for the first few days until they're settled but that won't be possible in September. So instead when your child starts we'd like you to bring them round to the reception class playground. There will be a sink to wash your hands and theirs and then you can help them to choose an activity outside. Of course you will need to keep two metres distance away from the other children and from other parents but there'll only be a few of you at a time so that should make it easier. And then as the children settle Mrs Miller and Mrs O'Neill will gradually support them to say goodbye to you and go into the classroom on their own. Hopefully after a few days you will be able to leave the children at the gate to come in on their own but we'll play it by ear and we'll see what the children need. It's not going to be very easy to have a chat to Mrs Miller or Mrs O'Neill in the morning um, or at collection time at the moment. So if you do need to speak to them just ring the office and they will pass on any messages or get them to phone you. Um, they can ring you back. We know things will have been difficult for you during the lockdown and you will have seen in the letter that I sent you how we're planning to help the children to adapt to school life after being at home for so long. A couple of extra points, especially those of you who are new to St Vincent's. One of the best ways to prepare your children for school over the holidays is by talking. That sounds daft, it sounds obvious, but please do talk to them about everything and about anything. Encourage them to ask and answer questions. If English is not your first language, do please keep speaking to your child in your home language, language as well. It's really important that they learn both, even if it takes longer. It definitely won't stop them from learning English. We'll be giving your child a reading diary and a book to take home. The first books will be for you to read to them or just talk about the pictures. Please do read with your child every day for about 10 minutes and sign their diary. That helps to keep you in a regular habit. They will be reading in school too, but we know that reading at home regularly helps children to progress faster. If English isn't your first language, we have got some videos on the school website to help with pronouncing the phonics sounds. You will have seen in the letter that I sent you that for now we're asking the children to come in easy to wash, comfortable clothes like t-shirts, joggers and trainers. They can wear a school sweatshirt over the top. They will be outside a lot and they will get dirty. That means they've had a good day but be prepared for lots of washing. Please make sure they've got their name written inside everything as it's really hard for teachers to find out who, what belongs to who. Finally, thank you for entrusting us with your child. We really see our job as being in partnership with you. So please do let us know any information that you think will help us to do our job. Even the smallest thing that may affect your child, please let us know and we'll make sure that we keep you up to date with what's happening in school. That's all for now. Bye bye and I look forward to seeing you in September.